Hello Knockouts, Tanya TKO here. And as you know, I'm a self-love specialist from tanyatko.com. I help you learn how to love yourselves and each other. On this channel, we use viral video topics as teachable moments in our own lives. And today we're going to be talking about abusive people as it relates to the story with Centoya Brown, her husband, and Pam from Total's ex-husband. If you're not up on the situation, watch two videos, one from Paris Milan and one from Chronicle Speaks. I'll put the links below because I don't want to spend time going into details that are already out there in the public. So let's jump right into it. Abusive people don't know that they're abusive. One thing that you'll find in common from abusive person to abusive person is victim energy. They wallow in this, look at what this person has done to me. Look at what they've enacted upon me. Look at how they've stolen my money, how they've hit me, how they've abused me, how they've done this right? And they use this victim energy as carte blanche to enact their abuse onto other people. First of all, not living in your truth and manipulating details is a form of abuse in and of itself. Like many of us, we don't realize that we're in an abusive relationship with our government here in the United States, where we are constantly being gaslit and told what is, is not, and what is not is no accountability, no acceptance for the wrong that they've done, no admitting the wrong that they've done, just continuing to spin and move the goalposts and to paint themselves as, as savior. I, I don't know how else to put it. But one thing that you'll find from one abusive person to another is uh, the lack of self-awareness. So that when they tell the story, they tell the story from this victim energy and this victim point of view. And they use that victim energy to excuse their behavior. Like I try to tell you all on this channel, I try to explain to you all, like people will be like, I, I give respect. If you if you this, that, and other, you, you'll see this part of me. You bring this out of me. No. You behave a certain way because that is who you choose to be. You choose to be that person. That is a person who is obviously inside of you. You have the light side. You have the shadow side. But for some reason, the people who want to assign that shadow behavior onto other people are the people who are abusive. I was in a relationship with a man who was abusive. And it was lucky that I was able to get out of that relationship before he ever had a chance to enact physical violence on me. One of the things that you'll notice with abusive people is that they come in the door really charming. Part of the, and they, and they elicit your sympathies. They, they get you on their side. There's so many good books out there that you can read, like The Art of Seduction and The and the Art of Power by Robert Greene. And these books really talk about controlling other people through your behaviors. So they come in the door really charming. They come in the door supporting you, uplifting you, and saying all of these magnificent things about you, doing all of these magnificent things, either supporting you financially, emotionally, physically. And this is all a part of the long game because they are of the belief that, oh, I am doing these things because you're a good person. You're, you're a person unlike anybody that I've ever been able to find before. So I do these things for you because of you and what it is that you're doing. Now, the danger of that is when it flips. So if you're like, oh, this person is doing this because of who I am. No, that person is doing that because of who they are. And when they assign that to you, when the flip comes and then all of a sudden they're taking their fist and they're pounding it into the side of your temple or punching you clean inside your cheekbones or uppercutting you in your belly or stomping on your back. Listen, I've heard some horrible stories out there. But when they're enacting these things upon you, when they're holding you down and doing all of these things to you, they're also saying, this is because of you. And this becomes the vicious cycle where you're constantly attempting to please. So you're there like a puppy. Like, oh my, what can I do? What can I do to get back in your good graces? Because I know that the person that I saw coming in the door, the charming person, was the real you. No, the light side and the shadow side are both 
who it is that they are. When you're able to accept the light side and the shadow side of yourself, when you're able to take personal responsibility for yourself, you then learn to hold other people responsible for who it is that they choose to be, who it is that they choose to show up as in the world. So what ends up happening is they love bomb you. They give you all of this love. And then when that affection, that stuff that was never really real to begin with, once that is taken away, there's a vacuum left there and you will do anything in order to be able to get them back into the quote unquote real them. If only you could be, and listen, there are some ping pong table things that are going on where your own insecurities and self-doubt and lack of self-worth are fed by this person who has this moving goalpost so that you're constantly jumping and running around trying to figure out how do you get this person to be who it is that you think that they really were. Because you know that this monster that you're seeing right now is not the real them. And I urge you to allow people to take responsibility for their own actions. And some of us, listen, we've had friends like this who, when you listen to their story, they're constantly the victim in their stories. And then sooner or later, you realize that as they go off, you're just going to be another villain in the tales that they're telling to other people as they move on from your relationship to go wallow in victim energy. And part of why I say that a great portion of this, even without the phys without it escalating into physical violence, there's a lot of manipulation at play, a lot of psychological turmoil that goes on. And one of the key factors that you can look for is in, in manipulation is realizing that this person is a ghost. They are a figment of your imagination. Hell, they're a figment of their own imagination because the person that they're purporting to be does not exist. The person who is this victim, who is allowing all of these things to happen to them, who are walking around inside of these relationships, not speaking up or not doing this or this, that, and the other, that person doesn't exist. The person without wants and desires and all that other stuff, the person who doesn't who doesn't advocate for themselves, that person doesn't exist. This goes on the victim end and on the villain end. We're, we're, we're volleying back and forth between two people that just do not exist. Like you, if you are in a relationship where you are allowing yourself to be abused, the person that you are pretending to be, pretending to be small, pretending to be voiceless, pretending to be all of those things, that person does not exist. There is so much more to you than that. And then on the flip side, this other person that they are pretending to be, this all gregarious, all giving, desiring of nothing, falling in love at first sight, love, that person does not exist either. This is a pantomime. It is a, it is a, you know, like when you go to the house of mirrors and you see this thing being reflected back, but you don't know where it's coming from or what that person doesn't exist. It's smoke and mirrors. It's a bunch of reflections. One thing reflecting off of another. They reflecting off of the dream that you want to believe of this perfect story, this love story of love at first sight where they sweep you off their feet and they knew, oh, God, the angels from above, just like in the story of the biblical days, they, they, they descended upon me and I just knew and I had to love bomb you without getting to know you, without making sure that you were comfortable. Listen, there are a lot of warning signs and it's up to you to really take a step back and realize you know what I'm going to listen to my spirit something about this doesn't feel right and one of the things that you'll notice in this situation with Centoya Brown's new husband is that there's never a point where he ever really addresses his his behavior that were problematic in any of the relationships that he mentioned he doesn't talk about what it is that he did to cause a certain result. All he talks about is this fairy tale love story. And Centoya is so caught up in this romance, this illusion that he's creating, that she can't even really see it to ask the poignant questions. You know, you have to wonder about a person who targets people who have had problematic relationships in which they were abused in the past without receiving the proper type of 
emotional restoration and healing that would allow them to be able to see and navigate through the canals of that type of manipulation. On that note, I want to hear your thoughts below. Please, have you ever been in a relationship with a person who was abusive? Is any of what I'm saying resonating? Are you in a situation with a person like that now? What are you going to do? What are you going to do to be and accept the real full total breadth and depth of who it is that you are? Because that person who doesn't have any feelings, who allows people to step on you, who allows people to beat you and hit, that is not, that is not, that, that is, that person is a figment. That is not a person that truly exists because everybody has wants, desires, needs. Listen, I'm going to jump out of here, but I'm going to read your comments below. Please share this video, like my page, make sure that you put on the notifications on both YouTube and Facebook. Come back and join the conversation. Come to my mailing list, tanyatko.com and subscribe to my personal mailing list. Get my book, the book of affirmations, the book of Oh, the book of affirmation self-love get the book you can find it on amazon I'm trying to get the title to show up but it's it, okay you can see it there <laughs> the book of affirmation self-love it's on amazon right now you could get that with one day shipping and it's an amazing book that helps rewrite your subconscious programming every page is a meditation in and of itself so if you have self-doubt and and lack of abundance and poverty mindedness and things like that that are creeping into your existence a book like that really creates the shift and allows you to step fully into your abundance and your high vibration so listen on that note i'm going to get out of here i'm going to read your comments below tanya tko and i'm out go out there and love one another but most importantly what love yourself love yourself and you can't really fully love somebody else if you're not loving yourself when you love when listen when you love truly truly love you add yourself in that equation you do not allow yourself to be abused you take care of yourself all right tanya tko and i'm out peace